How do you feel? Um, awesome, actually. Um, I honestly thought I wasn't going to feel this way for three, four years later. Um, just for something to be happening right now, um, me coming out, it's an indescribable feeling, honestly. You just told your teammates. Can you take us through what happened in that locker room, how you told them? Well, my coach started it off first. Um, he, he said we should start it off funny. So he said, um, I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm gay. And everybody looked at my coach surprised. Soon as I said it, nah, everybody wasn't surprised at all. <laughs> so they was more like, about time you admit it. Um, we've been beating your back in about it. And they was all just, um, it, it was all just like, all right, we're going to support you no matter what. We're going to be there for you. And this doesn't change anything. And that's what I want. I don't want them to feel that they have to act a different way around me or be a different way. What was it like telling your parents? I mean, Ooh, um, my parents, um, it, it got to the point, I, it, I told my parents to start guessing what it was. And, <laughs> what did you um, preface it with? I have something important to tell you. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I need something to tell y'all. So we sat down and it was like, all right, what do you need to tell us? And I was like, could y'all just start guessing a little bit? Um, and then maybe if y'all say the right thing, I agree to it. <laughs> By the time they got around the seventh or eighth thing, my mom popped it, are you gay? And I hopped on it real quick. I said, yes, that's it. And she just looked at me and froze. And she was, she was shocked a little bit because she didn't expect it, but she said she knew a little bit, and that's what surprised me, honestly. Um, but they like they always say, mothers always know, so I really, um, I could expect that from her. My father, on the other hand, took it a little different. He was, it took him some time to get over, and I honestly didn't talk to him that much that day. But the next day, it went, it went pretty well, and um, he was just letting me know that he's always gonna support me and he's gonna love me for who I am and. This doesn't change anything, so. Now you have three siblings? Two siblings? Two, two. two siblings. Well, how did they respond when you told them? Um, my older brother, Mike, um, he said he, for some reason, everybody who I told, who I confronted about it, they said they knew. Um, so. How does it make you feel? <laughs> why didn't you say nothing? Uh, why didn't you come up to me? But he said he knew, and he said it, it doesn't matter. He said he's still going to treat me the same. And uh, for my twin brother, it was a little different for him. Um, it took it a lot, of, a lot of time for it to register for him. Um, he couldn't believe it. I think, honestly, he probably took it harder than my father took it. He, um, the next day, he called me after I told him. And he was just like, I was crying. I, it was just something I couldn't believe. And nah, this can't be you. Maybe you need counseling. I said, counseling? I said, what, because I'm gay? I mean, this is who I am. Uh, I'm happy with who I am, and I, I want you to know, I just want you to support me at the end of the day for who I am. And um, time went on, and he's starting to come around. When did you first know that you are gay? Um, in middle school, I was, was just, I thought I was just going through a phase, honestly, um, until high school came, and my first year of college, and that's when I kind of figured, and I, I, I was starting to fight it a little bit, and I just thought, why, why fight it? Why not just go with it? Maybe this is who you really are. And at the end of the day, I, I want to be myself, and I don't want to hide and be somebody that I'm not. What was it like hiding on a team? Like, what kinds of things were you saying and doing? I used to um, lie to him, said I had a girlfriend, and. Um, man, I can't wait to go home and see my girlfriend and stuff like that, just to like keep them second guessing. Every time we travel after a team practice or dinner, whatever we doing, people always used to notice that I used to sit by myself. They never wonder why though or anything. They just uh, like, why is he by himself? But it's cause I'm hiding. I don't want to do anything or put myself in this situation that y'all yeah, could find out. How did you feel when Jason Collins came out to Sports Illustrated last year? When he came out, I wanted to come out the next day. Um, <laughs> it was just, it was, it was a relief, like about time, like finally it happened. But 
I still couldn't jump the gun because he he wasn't in the NBA at the time when he came out. Um, but when he went back, um, that's when I started to build a little more confidence. I watched his, he was getting subbed into a game and everybody stood up and started clapping. And I was visualizing myself as that being me, but for college. And um, I just kept replaying it over and over and over again. But since they, when they're saying Jason Collins, I was saying Derek Gordon. And uh, it, it, def uh, it definitely put a huge smile on my face when I seen that. He's a great guy. I got a chance to talk to him and said that he's very proud of me. Um, he said that he, um, he didn't expect um, nobody from Division One to be coming out this early. So he was just really giving me advice and just letting me know that if I ever need anything, I need to talk to him about anything, that he's always going to be, be there for me. He gave me the confidence and the boost that I needed to put me over the top to coming out. What, if any, concerns do you still have about being a college player, going into opposing arenas, and honestly, having put this out here? Right now, there's no concerns, honestly. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm in a state of mind where no word or anything can hurt me right now. I'm just so happy and just excited to finally put this out there and happy about my sexuality and just know that nothing is going to change as far as the basketball aspect. Um, yeah, there's going to be people out there that's going to say this and say that, but it's not going to affect me. I know who I am and I'm happy who I am. I'm interested in actually, honestly, to see the support that I get from different states when I go playing in these other arenas and um, just see who's out there and stuff like that. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll finally see a, a gay flag in the stands, uh, which I ain't never seen before. So uh, it's, it's going to be interesting. Knowing you had the secret, how has that affected your game up until this point? I struggled a lot at the beginning of the season, and I'm not sure what it was. Um, but after the after every game, I always had that thought in my mind, like I'm hiding. It was at times I, I cried because it was just I was looking for answers and I wasn't getting them. And honestly, the way I feel now is um, is honestly indescribable. Um, I just feel like a, a bunch of weight has just been lifted off my shoulders and I can fly, but not literally. Um, I definitely can't wait to get back in the gym with my teammates and built our chemistry and I believe I'm, I'm going to be a lot more closer to the coaches as well and I believe this is, could be a special season. Not at all. This has happened and me playing to my full potential. What is it that makes it so hard to be dealing with processing your sexuality and playing a Division One sport? People think that gays shouldn't be allowed to play sports or they're too soft or this and that. Um, from the looks of it, I know Michael Sam isn't soft and Jason Collins isn't so, and for one, I'm not soft, and I think people misinterpret that um, when it comes to being gay. It doesn't have nothing to do with how you perform on the court, um, and that's what I try to do. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm still going to play the same. I'm still going to be the beast guy that I am, but my sexuality is just different.